What's up everybody? David McCumber here, artist from Cape May, New Jersey, here in the David McCumber Gallery on this hot January, no, June afternoon. So I made a big mistake last week and I feel like I really messed things up and I'm going to kind of tell you the story humbly saying that I messed up and hopefully you can learn from this story as well. But uh, let's get started. Last week I went to the beach, came home and was getting changed from the beach and heard a knock on my door, kind of a hard knock on the door. And Melissa went down to see who it was and turns out it was my neighbor who was really upset that my dog had been outside barking all day. Now this is my dog, Nibbles, who is 107 pounds, a golden retriever, lab mix. And yes, he barks a lot and he barks loudly. Now, we usually let him out. He chases a neighbor's dog around for a few minutes and then we let him bark for five minutes. We bring him in. He drives us nuts as well. We want him to be respectful of our neighbors, so we bring him in. Now, the thing that I would say would be my mistake is when my neighbor was presenting this to me, rather than listening to him, I got offended, I got heated, I responded in a very angry way, yelling back at him and escalating this uh, discussion to more of an argument and then kicking him off my property. My wife, she calms down much quicker than I do, says maybe we should write him a letter to apologize or whatnot. I just said I needed time to cool down. After dinner, I sat down with me and my family and my two boys, and we looked at the Bible verse, James chapter one, that we need to be slow to speak, quick to listen, and slow to get angry. And we talked about it, and I asked the boys, how should have I responded? And Corey said that I should have taken a deep breath and listened. And Seth said I should go over to his house and apologize. So I drove over, knocked on his door, and ended up having about a 30 minute conversation with the gentleman, really just hearing him and listening to him, him offering to pray for him, all these things. And what I regret is that I didn't do that right off the bat. I immediately got angry, got frustrated and yelled back, but I allowed that and decided that I needed to um, ask for forgiveness and apologize and mend that relationship. And actually, I think I have a new friend as a neighbor. And I think what I can learn from this, and I hopefully that we can all learn from this, is one, we make mistakes. We lose our patience. We get angry sometimes. We need to be willing to humble ourselves and go and apologize. Two, with all the problems that are going on in the world, so much of those things could be solved. I'm not oversimplifying it, but if we just stop and listen and talk to one another, there's so much just posting on social media. I easily could have just went, and I've seen people do this, just go on Facebook and be like my jerk neighbor. I could let the dog out and drive him nuts and really just kind of like, perpetuate that frustration of going back and forth, but rather I decided that it ended with me and then I would apologize. Whether he apologized back or, or that was mended, the important part was that I went and apologized. So in these times that people are frustrated, there's so much injustice, there's so much anger, there's uh, division all over the place from racial division to coronavirus division to Republican, Democrat, CNN, Fox News, all this division. I think what's important is for if there's going to be any semblance of unity within our country that we need to start with unifying relationships in our own lives. And that's what I said to my neighbor that I can't imagine the world being any better if neighbors just can't get along. I just wanted to share with you that I had a bad temper. I lost my patience and I freaked out, but thankfully there was able to be reconciliation and that relationship was able to be uh, restored because I humbled myself, was quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. So thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this uh, painting. Uh, come by the gallery and check it out. Thanks to all my Patreons who continue to support me every month. These are the new it's Well stickers that are be going out to those of you who are in the sticker club in the next week or so. Thanks a lot guys and we'll see you next Monday.